Hi guys, this is Dalmar Kimtinyo. Welcome to our video tutorial. Sa video na to, ituturo ko sa inyo kung paano isolve ang ating problem na write a Java program that takes integer as input and check whether the number is even or odd. So, ibig sabihin, ang user ay mag-input ng number, then ang program iti-check niya if ang, at, ang input na number is even or odd. So, let's see our sample output. So, input an integer 4. So, 4 is even number. Then, input an integer 3. So, 3 is odd number. So, paano ba natin malalaman or ma-identify na even or odd number yung in-input natin? No? So, this is the solution. So, we have this table. So, on the left side, odd number. So, orange. No? 1, 3, 5, 7, 9. So, ito yung column nila. Then, sa even numbers is... Sabo, 0, then 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. So, kung mapapansin nyo, ang even is divisible by 2. So, kung hindi divisible by 2, is ibig sabihin odd number siya. So, in general, even numbers are those which are divisible by 2. And which numbers are not divisible by 2 is called odd number. No? So, but in the term of programming, for finding even number, we check remainder of number is 0 or not. So, if remainder is equal to 0, that means number is divisible by 2. So, ang ating gagawin is kukunin natin kung may remainder ba ang ating number. So, kung ang remainder niya is 0, ibig sabihin is even number. Kapag may remainder siya or 1, remainder 1, so, ibig sabihin is odd number. So, to find the remainder of any number, we will use modulo o yung percent sign, no? Operator which return remainder as result. So, we have here number, modulos na to, natin ng 2. So, number percent 2. So, if ang number percent 2 is equal to 0, yung ibig sabihin ni number. So, if number percent 2 is equal to 1, then it's odd number, No? So, meron na tayong solution na let's create our Java program. So, let's go to desktop. Then, open natin si Eclipse. Then, let's create our project. No? New Java project. So, my project. So, you can name it kung anong gusto nyo. Then, next or finish. So, I'll click finish. So, let's wait for a while. I'll create. Okay, let's view our explorer. So, let's close this. Then, let's click source. Folder natin, right click. Then, new. Then, let's click class. So, let's name our Java class. So, I'm going to name it even add. No, you can name it any name you want, no? I'm going to check this public static void main again to generate automatic public static void main. No, I'm going to check it then finish. So I'm going to close this. Close this then again. Zoom control plus control minus to zoom out. Zoom in, zoom out. So now, we're going to declare our scanner object. No? So I'm going to use scanner, let's say, SC or scan. Then equals to new scanner, then system.in. Then don't forget semicolon. So again, as you can see, we have wiggly line red. So it means we don't have 
imported yet our scanner class. So, to do that, we go here sa taas, then we're going to type import, then java.util.scanner semicolon or again, you can just example, we're going to delete this if you don't memorize the import, so you can just hover the scanner, then you wait for this to come up, then click import scanner so it will automatically generate so now we're going to make our message, so we're going to ask so system that out or you can just again syso control space enter then input an integer then don't forget semicolon no? then enter so we're going to create our variable so let's create int for our data type int then let's name the variable num then equals to Let's call our object SC for scanner. So scan dot next int. So we're going to use next int method to accept input. Then semicolon. So now we're going to create or how can we identify or check if our input integer is even or odd. So we're going to use if statement if else or if else if no so example let's start with if so if num then we're going to use the modulus operator modulus 2 is equal to 0 starting calibrate then enter so as you can see kapag num natin is divided by 2 makukuha yung remainder is equal to 0 so, ang remainder niya is 0, ibig sabihin yung ating EV number. No? So, else if num percent 2 is equal to 1, ibig sabihin kapag 1 yung remainder niya, so it's odd. No? You can use else if kapag gusto mo or you can just use else. So, bakit else? Kasi automatic, basta hindi zero yung remainder niya, automatic si else yung mag execute So automatic kapag hindi siya even or kapag ang remainder niya is, di, is hindi zero, automatic si odd yung lalabas. So now, let's type. Let's type sysO. Then let's call num plus is even number then this one so this o num is odd number so ganito lang kadali yung ating code or ganito lang kaikli so let's try to save then run so input an integer so once we input our integer, as you can see, nasa baba yung cursor ng input niya. So, gusto natin sa gilid, so we'll use print, just print. Save again, then run. Then, let's put 4. Let's test 4 as input. So, 4 is even number. So, according to our table, So, 4 is even number. Let's try entering 35. So, let's run it again. 35. So, 35 is a number which is correct. So, ganito lang kadali yung paano identify si even or si odd number. no? So, another thing is kapag hindi nyo, medyo hindi nyo naiintindahan itong condition natin na if num percent to modulus 2 is equal to 0 we can just break it down okay so to break it so we will declare int rem for remainder equals num so ang gagawin lang natin is ito kukopyahin lang natin to so ililipat natin dito ano so num 
percent to semicolon. So, ibig sabihin, kukunin natin yung remainder ni num modulus 2. Ipapasok natin or isa-save natin yung value niya sa rem. Then, i-evaluate na naman natin si, instead na ganito yung condition natin, let's change it to rem. Kung si rem ba daw is equal to 0, so, it's even number. Else, else, if, if remainder is 1, or else, or kapag, again, hindi 0 yung remainder, automatic siya yung execute. So, let's save, then run. So, let's look for, sapo, we have 94. Let's type 94. 94 is even number. Then, let's try it again. Then, let's input 0 to test if 0 is even number. So, we see that 0 is even number. So, dapat, kapag tinipe natin yung 0, automatic, i-display niya si even number. So, let's type 0. So, 0 is even number. No? So, tama yung ating code. So, guys, ganito lang kadali kung paano i-identify si even or si odd number. So, salamat sa panonood. See you sa next video natin.